Hello and welcome to Simba Avi Travels and this time you're watching episode 5 of our Croatia series. This is our last episode and we're in Dubrovnik. You're gone now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Hi viewers, so we have finally made it to Dubrovnik and this is the entrance to the beautiful apartment that we booked on booking.com and just look at the view that you can see from the balcony it is absolutely gorgeous so you see the old town and you see the water it's just lovely and now I'll show you the inside of this apartment so right up here on the beginning is the living room of this apartment and you can see the colors are so vibrant. I mean the owner of this house has literally invested a lot of time, effort and creativity in creating this beautiful living area. So they've given you a TV, it's very artistic and so colorful, just look at that pink accent chair with the blue table, with a dining table, lots of books to read and this magnificent clock, I've actually fallen in love with it and they have given you a full fledged kitchen, just look at where they've hung those hand towels, isn't that the cutest thing ever, I love it and she told us that her husband actually hand painted this wall and I love it. And this, my friends, is the really big bedroom, right? It's almost the king size bed with two corner tables. They've given you um, your iron, which is great. Not every room has that. And then they have this really beautiful antique piece. And she said that she has every part of this sewing machine from dating back to whatever hundreds that you know this must be from and then just loving everything that she's done again another Turk accent chair with this mirror and this really nice showpiece in corner I'm really loving it it's such a soothing vibe so another few things that I do want to mention that we are actually currently right in the middle of old town Dubrovnik so where we parked our car was just a three minute walk and that to all downhill on the stairs and you can come to the apartment you don't even need to go to the main road so you can go back up those flight of stairs and you can be back in old town Dubrovnik and you can just walk around and stroll so it's extremely convenient you don't have to live outside of town you can live in town you can park your car once the owner of course told us that Dubrovnik is a very small city you don't need to travel around with your car that much everything has to happen by foot but do remember it's really up and down be ready with some walking shoes or good sole chappals to be able to walk around especially if it's really uh, hot out there be hydrated always like I said guys <laughs> lots and lots of stairs in Dubrovnik <laughs> you just got to yes yes Avi Niche to uttar jayenge bhai upar kaise aayenge Jai Mata Di Sare Bolo Mata Ni Sunia Guys Can you see those pink flowers? That's where we walked down from Now where we have to walk And now we're heading towards uh, Old Town Are we, I'm very scared about how I'm going to go up You're gone now Will you call me back? Yeah, no Okay, so uh, we just walked about five minutes and we are very close to Old Town. You can see it in my background. On the way, we crossed the Grand Imperial Hotel and it's said to be the oldest hotel in Europe. And of course, the view is stopped by this bus. <laughs> 
it is a Hilton property right now, but they said that it was the oldest hotel. And it's 350 euros for one night. Which is very good. Fancy. Okay, so you can see how this street is just lined with these beautiful cafes. And if only you could smell the really fresh seafood and pasta and pizza, or maybe I'm just really, really hungry. But wow, there's a lot of there are a lot of people standing here, and I wonder why. Let's go check that out. Wow, you can see the water and the kayaks, and you can see that fort. Lovely. Dubrovnik Old Town and all I can tell you is that the time I walked in I actually felt like I was exported away to the medieval era. I mean from these huge stoned streets that I'm walking to the stone walls to this this entire just, just look at it I don't even have appropriate words to describe exactly how beautiful this is. I mean, there's a church, there are these clock towers, there are bells, there are these huge stone walls. It is just magnificent, it's beautiful, and everyone's just enjoying the vibe. It is so different from all the other cities that we've been to so far in Croatia. This is nothing like you've seen before. It's very different. You really feel like you're transported into another time, another era. And everyone's enjoying the vibe. I mean, whether they're sitting around and having their wine or their fish or their pasta, or like the Indian food that Avi and me just had, which was amazing Indian food in Dubrovnik, or just walking these streets. It is absolutely stunning. And right now, we're going to walk through this little tunnel and I want to show you what's on the other side. You're gone now, or you're coming back. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the I don't know if you can hear it, but there are these beautiful birds that are flying everywhere. I mean, literally, it's nighttime. The sun has gone down. Wow, I didn't know you could get cars in here. Uh, I'm sure they're privileged. But <laughs> the sun's gone down and I still hear these birds. I mean, I don't know what kind of birds these are, but they're just amazing. And oh my God, it literally opens up to the waterfront. I mean, there are people, there are musicians that are playing and there's ice cream that I'm just going to have in a little bit. And look at those beautiful musicians. Today 
today we've started our day by walking around the Dubrovnik old city and you would see that currently I'm standing on one of the corners of these beautiful huge stone walls and you'll notice my background you can see the different parts of this beautiful castle it's really lovely and you have all of the yachts in the marina below and you can see far out into the water and just see all the people the people are enjoying their ice creams and they're sitting at these cafes and enjoying all of their lovely drinks it is a very very hot day today i would recommend anyone coming around this time to ensure that they have their sunscreens on and they're well protected with their hats and some really comfy airy clothes and of course if you're going to the beach then have all of your beach gear ready you're gone now Oh, you call me back Yeah, I know that Yeah, I know that You're the traveling kind It's a no Okay, hello everyone and I am currently standing at the Vanjie Beach Club This was about a 15 minute walk from the apartment and we literally went through all of uh, Old Town Dubrovnik and we've climbed the stairs down and we finally made it here It is absolutely stunning very very serene you can see all the blue waters i'm going to go ahead and jump in right in a minute avi and i have got our drinks um, there's a bar there's also music going on inside and everyone's laying down sunbathing that's exactly what we're going to do for the day for the next few hours avi and i are spending here and relaxing and this is how we're doing our day in dubrovnik today you go After spending a few hours at the Banjay Beach, we made our way to Buza Bar. Now this is one bar that you must visit when in Dubrovnik. This is how we ended our beautiful trip to Croatia. Thank you so much for watching Simba V Travels and we really hope you continue watching us. Please hit the bell icon for notifications for our upcoming videos and see you next time. Bye.